so this is the example of regulation uh, model that we covered in my last video. So uh, suppose you work for a small college and you want to develop a regression model that uses uh, SAT score to predict freshman year GPA. You begin by co collecting SAT score and freshman GPA data for um, a group of students who have already finished their freshman year. And your plan is to use the existing data to create the regression model and then use the model to predict incoming students' GPAs. Here are the data. SAT scores and GPAs after one year, finishing one year. And the scatter plot is like this. And when we ran a Pearson correlation between SAT and GPA, that was a 0 0.91, really high. So, you know, we could say that's correlation. And we also may have to make sure that there's not due to a sampling error. And we do that with the critical value. And just, okay. So now we know that mean was that GPA. 2.5 mean SAT and uh, sum of square for that, sum of square for that, sum products. And uh, let's determine the linear regression model that predicts GPA using the SAT score. And we already know how to do it. The, the slope is going to be sum of products divided by sum of square for x and the rear and the intercept is going to be well let's let's, let's do the, the slope first so sum of products divided by sum of square x and it's 0 0.0023 okay now let's uh, get the the value for the intercept which is mean of y minus uh, slope times mean of x which is minus 0 0.03 okay so that's the model regression model we get and there's a positive relation you can tell you know it's a positive looks like this. Okay. Now that you have a regression model based on last year's data, you can use it to predict incoming students GPAs after a year. Suppose a high school senior Johnny applies to your college and he has an SAT score of 1200 and let's predict Johnny's freshman year GPA. Just do that, 1200 and you get 2.73 all right suppose Billy uh, another high school senior applies to your college he has an SAT score of 900 let's predict Billy's freshman year GPA it's 2.04 of course it's slower because it's based on this relation mo regression model 